Hey guys, another tool upgrade video. I'm doing a lot of tool upgrade videos lately because um, I've had all these rubbish tools in my life from when I was younger um, that I bought, didn't really do much research into um, and just bought them. Um, just bought what I got from my electronic shop and unfortunately what's at my electronic shop uh, is not very good. Um, so I'm sort of replacing them as I'm going because I'm finding obviously the more electronic stuff I do, <laughs> as you can see, all the cabinets and stuff behind me, all the, the more electronic stuff that I do, um, the more that rubbish tools are starting to annoy me. Um, so I say rubbish tools while I'm holding these up because you've probably seen those in other videos I've done before. Um, these are the sort of um, the wire strippers that um, have set diameters and um, some cutters. It's got a cutting thing down the bottom. And then at the top you've got these serrated jaws that you can use to grab things. Not very good. They don't grab very well. Um, and they don't cut very well. I've worn them out like I've used them so much. Um, particularly the wire that I use. I use the same, the same setting all the time. Um, and I was recently at a sale which a lot of you international people won't know, but there's a place called Dick Smith Electronics um, that actually went broke recently. They went bust. It's been a bit of a tragic uh, story with Dick Smith Electronics from back in the 80s. It's kind of gone downhill. They're, kind of, they're turning this sort of like retail, um, uh, you know, like retail shop with uh, selling TVs and stuff like that, whereas they used to be um, in the seven, late uh, 70s, I think early 70s, the latest as far back as early 70s to late, to, um, late 80s, um, they had electronic stuff. I remember going to, um, to Dick Smith stores in the late 80s to buy, um, to buy, tool, to buy uh, tools and, and, and components and stuff. So um, when I was doing electronics, not late 80s, mid, uh, mid 90s, late 90s, um, when I did electronics, um, as far back as that. But then they kind of just dumped all the electronic stuff. I think maybe early 2000, they got rid of, um, a lot of their electronic um, electronic stuff, but I stopped going there. Obviously, I started going to J Car instead because uh, I got a bigger range and more electronic component suited store than than Dick Smith because Dick Smith just dumped all that stuff. Anyway, that's a long story about some some side cutters. So what's that got to do with side cutters? Well, at the sale, they've still got a few of these odd bits and pieces, these odd tools and stuff. Um, I saw these. Um, they were fifteen dollars um, reduced to six bucks. And I thought, I've been looking for adjustable wire cutters for so long. I thought, they're probably going to be rubbish. I'll give them a go for $6. Um, they're actually not too bad. They're, 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 they're pretty good. What is it, an adjustable wire cutter, you might be saying to yourself? I didn't know. I've never had them before. I've never even used them before. But I've heard a lot of people talk about them. I'll give you a demonstration up close as to what they actually do. So here we have the old side cutters. And... I'm just going to show you how you would do it with these. Um, you put the wire in, I think I usually use the first one, and you pull it off like that. That's pretty straightforward, not that hard. Well, there's one reason why I'd prefer automatic side cutters actually is because, uh, wire, wire strippers, side cutters, wire strippers, is because you can actually get, sorry, get that in focus properly, you can actually get consistent results over and over again as far as the um, amount of wire to strip off. So as you can see, the jaws come down. You've got to set the you've got to set the strength of the cutter with this with this screw at the back, so it doesn't go through the wire. And you just put place it up. Whoops! Place it up against that adjustable um, little stop wire stop thing there. You can you can see it's got measurements of how um, how long it is. Let me just straighten that cut wire a bit so it goes in properly. Like that. You push down. Just with the handle, you don't have to do anything else, just push down with the handle. It, it, it removes the wire, pulls it off, and then you get the same um, amount of wire each time. Every time you do it, you get the same amount. So that's good for if you're, uh, uh, sorry, it's got a little cutter in the bottom too. I just use that there to cut the end off um, as well, like the other one does. And then you put it in, you do it again, bang, and then they'll end up the same size each time. Well, they should. Um, that's good for if you're doing like like three wires for for a pot that's going into a PCB. You want them all the same size so that you don't have one wire longer than the other. Because what often happens, um, 
you take more you take more of the insulation off one than the other you go to put them in the PCB and then you end up with one one wire that's longer than the other and they're all over the place I mean there's ways around that of course you can just cut them off again when you do the second second joint and keep them all the same size it still won't be the same size but it'll be roughly the same size but I reckon that's great I mean see how quick it is too you just go you just go bang and it's done as well um, you don't there's just no effort required whatsoever well I suppose the only effort required is to make sure that it's lined up properly like that and then pull it off so I mean you can do it pretty fast I think I actually stuffed that one up a little bit too quick I haven't used them much I just got them the other day but there you go so just make sure that you got I suppose the moral of the story is just make sure you've got it in straight um, and you line it up properly it's, it's actually tricky to do it behind the camera I think that's why I'm stuffing it up yeah I think I'll use that as my excuse and then just yeah pull the handle bang there it goes that's an automatic wire stripper and you don't have to worry about the other thing too is with these ones I know which hole to use for them I know the first and second one they fit they, they it will strip um, but if you if you're using lots of different diameter wires you won't know which one to use and you sort of experiment you use one that's too small it it rip it cuts through the wire and you start losing strands of wire as well um, whereas the automatic ones I've tried a few I've tried a few times with it uh, I mean the, the, the few times I have tried with it I've ex inspected the actual um, wire the other way so it actually focuses on the thing there we go um, I've looked at the wire and there's no missing strands of wire which is good because you don't want it cutting into that because it kind of weakens the wire um, so you probably it's not going to focus on it it's going to focus on my hand now isn't it anyway you get the idea so yeah they're automatic wire strippers definitely worthwhile having a pair around six dollars quite heavy for six bucks too I was actually expecting them to be really cheap but I mean that you know that weighs probably like uh, about to guess 150 grams maybe it's got a bit of weight in it I'll tell you I've got everything in this study 205 grams what I say 150 that's pretty close for a, a uh, wild stab in the dark so there you go they're um yeah they're pretty good um, they, they, they do the job if you can get a pair I mean I, I was looking at spending 20 or 30 dollars on them and I'd be happy to spend that because it's wire strip is something you use all the time particularly when you're building pedals I mean there's so much so many wires and stuff to cut um, to, to, to strip you know it's, um, it's worthwhile having something like that around I reckon so anyway that's um, a pair of wire strippers grab a pair if you're thinking about it if your other pairs going down downhill grab a pair of white automatic wire strippers they're um, they're really good they've sold me I love them Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Cheers.